Cigar Assessor Cigar Video Review. Today I'm going to review the uh, Reserva Selecta by Toronto. It has a Connecticut shade wrapper, the binder is Indonesian, and the fillers from the Dominican Republic, Honduras, and Nicaragua. And this, my friends, is a 5x50 Robusto. Uh, I met John Toronto at the uh, IPCPR. He gave me couple sticks for the taste and review. Really nice, nice guy. Uh, and I've been looking forward to reviewing this. I like their sticks. So, let's see what we get from the foot. Getting a hay and barnyard from the foot. Mild vinegar, very mild, I can smell the barnyard from the stick. So I'm going to use my broom 101 knuckle cutter. And give it a nice, voila, wow. Spicy. You're having a mild spice. Alright, let's toast the foot. Cedar. Cedar and the woody note. Ready? So I'm going to smoke some of this and then I'll return in a few seconds for you with some information on the tastes, the flavors, the burn, the ash, and all that beautiful stuff. I'll be right back. As you can see, the smoke's full, pumping out of this, this stick. It burns almost even. It's got a little little valley in one little side. The uh, the ash is a it's a nice gray ash. The top's a little more towards the darker side than now. It's getting light. Uh, the stick is very minimally veined, and well constructed honey brown in color. Very nice. Very nice. Getting woody notes and a um, little bit of spice. So, so far, so good. It's, um, it's a beautiful day today, but um, of course another day. Every day has on the west side has a, you know, 
know, a little breeze, at least a light breeze in today's day. No difference, but it's, it's not affecting the cigar, the burn, anything. Still holding on. Very nice, dense ash. Um, full smoke. A little bit of spice, mild pepper to add to the woody, woody notes. Mild, mild uh, cigar, not, not too bold. Yeah, it's got a spicy pepper. <clears throat> Let's get this slide right on off and we'll check out what's underneath. And we have no defects, no tears, no splits. Not bad. Passing the halfway point, and the ash is starting to bend like it wants to fall. So um, I'm going to tack this ash off and see what we get. Yes, beautiful. Still pumping out full smoke. Tasting a little like a spice, but it's fighting a sweetness. It does. It's moving more toward being a little sweet. A little sweet, you know what I'm getting. Hmm. Saltiness, sweetness. smoke, the burn is even though the ash is still holding on. I actually, you know, after I tapped it off, it's still pretty strong. You get some citrusy notes on the cigar. It's not my favorite uh, Toronto uh, the collection series. I really like the, the darker. Uh, this is the first. Uh, like the Casa Toronto I liked. And the, uh, there's one other one I reviewed which I liked. But this one's probably the least, or my least favorite out of all the ones that I've smoked. Last bit's getting a little citrusy and bitter. <clears throat> and uh, not much 
more to say about it. It's pairing it up with some iced coffee. much more on this I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna put it down. Burns almost even. The ash is still holding on. In this last third, getting a lot of bitterness. Don't know why, but this really isn't. Or I wouldn't say this is my favorite Toronto. I like the, uh, the collection series and the Casa Toronto, and I reviewed another one. This would be my least favorite of the of the four that I reviewed. 